Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to answer this question. Is there is a way to provide default value or values to your parameter in SSRS report? The short answer is yes, sir. but let's go ahead and explore that how exactly we can do that. I have created a single value parameter report and if I will preview this report, I will see a text box for my parameter value. I have to type that value every time I run my report. So once I write Asia, I'm getting the data related to Asia region. So let's say for the next one, I have to write Europe if I would like to see. But what I want every time this report runs, especially the first time, it should run with Asia region. So that's where we can go ahead and provide some default values to the parameter that we want to use for the first time run. And go to parameter, right click, parameter properties. And now we see default values. And here we have a specify values where we can write static values and other option we have get values from the query. I'm going to go with specify value for now and then show you the other one. So add and here provide Asia as we would like to run our report as a default with Asia value for our parameter. Hit OK. And now if you run the report, you will see the Asia data and you do not have to type anything in the parameter. Let's go ahead and change the parameter type to the multi value. So double click on data set. And as you can see that it is equal to sign. It means it's accepting only one value. To make it multi value, we have to use in clause. So I'm using in clause. Now it is multi value parameter. Also, one more step we need to do go to parameter properties and then select allow multiple values option. That's going to make it truly multi value parameter. Now go to default values and here we can add more than one value. Now let's add Europe. So if we run this report now, it will be running for Asia and Europe. So we don't have to type it. It ran with the default values as we have provided these values. Now if I would like to change, I can go ahead and change. So if I would like to just see the data for Europe, I can remove that and provide a new value and run my report. So that's great. The next part, uh, we would like to get the values uh, for this parameter from the query. Instead of uh, providing those static values, uh, I don't really recommend providing the static values uh, because sometimes uh, you have maybe have more regions uh, or less regions uh, or you want to change the default region. Uh, so you have to come back to report, change it, save it, redeploy it. Uh, and that uh, is a whole lot of process. You have to create a ticket, you have to deploy to the UAT and then you have to deploy to the production. So that take a whole lot of time. Instead of uh, you will save those default values in some definition table or some uh, table you already have and uh, extract from there. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new data set. Uh, I'm going to call this one region default. And I'm going to get the values from one of the table called total sale. So select distinct region from DBO total sale. And uh, this is going to return me all the regions. So hit OK. Now I go to the parameter again, parameter properties, default values. And here I'm going to use get values for from a query. And uh, I have to provide the data set name. And then I have to provide the field. Hit OK. Now preview. And as you can see that it returns us Asia, Europe and North America as a uh, query results uh, those are used uh, in the default values uh, of this parameter and uh, we see the records uh, in our report. Uh, now this is a text type uh, parameter we can also do the same thing uh, for date type uh, and uh, we can also do for radio or any other type of parameter we can always provide uh, the default uh, value. So thanks very much for watching this video and uh, I wish you all the best with your interview. I would recommend explaining all these parts in detail to the interviewer and uh, I hope that will help.